to themselves. Ha ha ha! What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to do a reaction to American culture. But before we get started, if you guys happen to be new on my channel, welcome. I would really appreciate it if you guys subscribe to my channel. If you end up liking this video, leave a thumbs up. Comment down below if you enjoyed this reaction and if you want to share your opinion about it. Also, comment down below. Let's get started. Today's video is going to be four way American home or absolutely nightmare. Okay, I'm an Avarian living in the UK or well, I live in London. So I'm I'm going to see what's the nightmare in America because I think the, um, the UK has some weird as maybe it's because I'm used to it but the UK has some weird things as well in home so I'm going to see what's weird if it's weirder than us like let's get started with this reaction because I feel I'm talking off topic uh, also if you want to see the original video of this I'll put that in the comment down below his name is lost in the pond he done a lot of amazing video I think he's a British citizen that live in um, in America now so he shared both ways side of it so I think it's cool this video is sponsored by BritBox the premier streaming service for Britain's most beloved TV shows I'm Lawrence I Brown do. and I'm on a quest to uncover all of the memos that Britain and America lost in the pond and one of those memos pertains to houses <laughs> If you've spent any of the last six months watching this channel, you'll know that I used that time to talk about my first American house. And I know oh. what you're thinking, ooh, Lauren, <laughs> that's why TubeBuddy nominated you for creator of the year in the lifestyle category. Oh. But you're also thinking, we get it, Lauren, you're living the American dream. Isn't that great for you? Well, not always, because sometimes the American dream can be a nightmare. You see, while many are saying that this house is among the greatest in three counties, it does come with its fair share of challenges. Some oh. of these challenges you'll have heard me talk about before and you're about to receive an update and others I'm about to reveal to you for the very first time. Or if you've never seen a Lost in the Pond video before, all of these will be new. So if you're not yet subscribed to my channel, do that now. <laughs> and so without further ado, here are four major challenges of living in your own American house. Okay. What's First that? up, you might have noticed that we are in the room where the furnace is kept, and there's a very good reason oh. for that. My wife and I were in this very room at 2 a.m. the other night, fixing a very peculiar Wait, 2 a.m.? You see, it all had to do with something that almost all British houses will never have to contend with, and that <laughs> is the air conditioning. I ah! Hear it, the sound of Uncle Toby frantically typing away, saying something like, Lawrence, when are you going to stop talking about the fact that American houses have air conditioning? That was in all caps. And it's true. Well, I do mention don't... this a lot because it's a big yeah. difference between British and American houses. True. We don't have air conditioner. When do we need a summer? Summertime lasts not that long, to be more precise. Um, but I do have an air conditioner in my room to tell the truth. <laughs> Because my room technically needed the reason why I say that is because my room is next to a boiler, like a hot water boiler, that side. So when the as because the bathroom is also that side, so when people are bathing over using the hot water, the thing is giving my room heat. In winter it's good because I know I'm not getting cold, but sometimes it's not. Because when summertime comes that heat is bad for my room, especially my room is very small. So I need that air conditioner. So I order air conditioner and it's literally there next to the window because I order the one that f and the tube need to be outside or something like that. I'm not so sure if I'm doing it right. Anyway, let's continue. <laughs> And the truth of the matter is, your air conditioning sometimes stops working. It did that just the other night when it was 75 degrees outside. Oh, All wow. of a sudden, after sitting in the living room for about three hours, we realized it's a little bit toasty in here, mate. Sadly, <laughs> we didn't have any beans to go with it. So we did what anybody would do in this situation. and we put What our were you even doing in the, the morning, vents, anyway? And the air that was blowing out of them was doing so very slowly and quite warmly. Now, when we Wait, what did he say? Sorry. Footage of air dust clear. Cleaning. Clear. Then mine. Oh. We lived in an apartment and we used to shove these in our windows. The process to stopping that was quite a lot easier. You just pull a filter out of the machine, clean it off, put it back in, and then usually it would be fine. But now we have something called central air and figuring out the problem seemed harder. 
Can I put this down? It's really heavy. I was thinking, why are you carrying it? It seemed harder because it was completely and utterly a little bit harder. Because in addition to no cold air coming out of the air vents, these pipes, which lead to that box thing in the garden, again, nominated for an award, were completely frozen over. And in fact, when we went to check on the box Cold. thing outside, the pipes were frozen there too. And it's just occurred to me that I should have filmed all of this. It would have made for a great video. But you're just going to have to take my word for it. This is what happened. And of course, as people who previously rented, we never had to take care of a situation like this before. So we looked for answers on a website called google.com. <laughs> and the first thing it told us to do, and I hope it was correct, was to turn off our system and check the filter. Well, after doing some more reading, we discovered that our filter was located in a box right next to the furnace. I unscrewed oh. it, removed this door, and pulled out the filter, which looked like it hadn't been replaced since 1974. It's also oh, wow. a little bit like an accordion, so I didn't know whether to clean it or play it. Thankfully, <laughs> we had the wherewithal to return to Lowe's and buy ourselves a handy replacement. And here's B-roll of somebody that could be me but isn't, putting a filter that looks like mine but isn't, into a box that's not far off but also not identical. Plus, he's oh. automatic. Anyway, after doing that, we still couldn't turn on the air conditioning immediately because we still had to continue with the issue of the icy pipes. Google suggested we put towels down and put the fan on so that it would blow warm air through all of the vents. In other words, to speed up the thawing process. And it worked! Ooh. After about two hours of falling asleep in the boiler room. <laughs> Listen, I might have the words lost in the pond on t-shirts. Get yours by following the link in the description below. But that doesn't mean that I actually want to be submerged in water in my own house. But you might remember a couple of months ago, this was a genuine concern. Yeah, but this looks a bit different to how it was the other day. Oh, that's wet. Oh. Why was this? Well, my house and many others like it in the northern United States have a basement. And while conventional wisdom might tell us that my homeland of Great Britain gets Me more too. rain than any other country in the world, this simply isn't true. In fact, many American states get considerably more... Oh, actually, I found out that we actually don't get most rain in the world. I thought it was New York. New York... New York City actually get more rain than the UK, which is, I mean, London, let's just say, but it's weird because I thought we did, because right now it's technically, it's raining, it's raining outside, <laughs> it's raining outside, but we don't get more rain, we just happen to get drizzle, drizzle, what do you say, anyway, let's continue than Britain. This is partly down to short torrential thunderstorms the like of which I experienced not too long ago here in Illinois. So in an effort to ensure that my basement doesn't get any more leaks, we did two things. Number one, we filled in the holes with hydraulic cement in a process, once again, that I forgot to film. So instead, here's some random B-roll of cement and you, the viewer, have to pretend this is me filling in my <laughs> holes. You could have worded that better and use more accurate b-roll we also found this discarded piece of drain pipe which is very generously redistributing the water to another part of the ground so that it doesn't go into our house everybody oh. thank the discarded piece of drain pipe in the co okay so i don't know if i take this out but at the same time it will still go underneath it unless i'll go oh that's actually a good like the length as well using the water to another part of the ground so that it doesn't go into our house everybody thank the discarded piece of drain pipe in the comments make it feel good because eventually we are going to get rid of it and have a more permanent solution <laughs> Perhaps one of the biggest challenges of living in your own American house can be viewed from here, nature's cinema, otherwise known as the mud room. Because it should be what? noted that it's not just humans that cause problems. Listen, I'm the biggest animal lover there is, right? My puppy oh. is my best friend, and my cat is my second best friend. <laughs> but sometimes there are members of the animal kingdom that are absolute sh**. <laughs> I will remember back in the winter when my garage was commandeered by squirrels who thought it would be a great idea to turn the wooden beams into a sandwich. Thankfully, they were taken care of, but then guess what happened? At the start of spring, we had a swarm of bees in there. And when I say Ooh. swarm, I mean like four of them. But still, you know, you don't want bees in your garage. Because mm -hmm. when you put a bee in garage, what have you got? Sting. Garbage. Thankfully, they've gone too, but the same could not be said for the evil bunny rabbits. Who Rabbit? insisted on chewing not only our grass, but devouring the daffodils. That might Wait, do they actually have rabbit running out the, f um, the city free? Loose? Oh, wow. I want to pet one. 
could have been the dog. I didn't see it, but I had noticed the rabbits hovering around them prior to the event. So I'm going to blame them. And then there's our dustbins, known here as garbage cans or trash cans. Unfortunately, there's one member of the animal kingdom that you find in America and not in Britain that doesn't give two hoots what you call it. And that animal is the raccoon. Because they tip Ooh. your bins over and run away with banana skins and laugh to themselves. Ha ha ha! seen one myself i've been warned recently by neighbors that coyotes frequent the alleyway at night and i don't oh. know if they're gonna go through stuff or destroy my yard or haunt me in my dreams but i just know they're out there waiting we don't have coyotes in britain in fact the only one that made it over there was a cartoon that used to fall off cliffs but this is very real so keep watching my channel for future clickbait videos on the subject <laughs> Over the last few weeks and months, ever since I moved into my first American house, one of the biggest questions that I've had is, Lawrence, is your home part of an HOA? And the answer to that question oh, is no. Oh. We didn't want any part of that noise. And my British viewers, much like me, when I first started hearing all about this, might be thinking, what's a homeowner association? Because here's the thing, in Britain, to find the equivalent of a homeowner association is rare so what is it what does it do yeah well, if you I move into a house house. that is a part of the hoa you then become a member of it and that means that you have to adhere to rules and depending on state and local laws these can vary from what color you paint your house how many plants you put in your garden to the type of yard signs you have and to me specifically as a british person one of the more peculiar bands is this after i left britain for a life in the united states it quickly <laughs> became apparent that america did things differently this was evidenced by people's vocabulary food items and the seeming absence of one thing in particular clothes lines back in oh. britain clothes lines or washing lines are a popular mainstay of the drying process with people unabashed about airing their clean laundry in public american yards however are more often than not free of clothes lines with the exception of that time my wife's cousin chad misjudged the vibe of our cookout by dressing up as john cena one reason <laughs> for this is hoas because in some communities in America, there exists an outright ban by HOAs on the use of outdoor clotheslines. Their Seriously? reasoning is often that they obscure the view for fellow residents. But what are they trying to look at? Because if it isn't my matching Abraham Lincoln <laughs> socks, there's something truly wrong with them. But in recent years, 20 states, including Illinois, have passed so-called right-to-dry laws, banning HOAs oh. from doing this. Their reasoning being that citizens have the right to utilize solar power. Still, that means there are 30 states where Outdoor clotheslines can still be banned, meaning that millions of Americans will never know the joy, as I once did, of hearing their underpants flap in the wind. <laughs> so, as a freedom-loving British American, I love not being part of an HOA. It's just that somebody needs to tell Suburban Sue, because the post-it notes are getting a bit much. And that's it for this episode. This was actually good. Like, for example, the laundry and thing. Even though you don't want to do it outside, especially when it's rainy, you have like this rack where you dry your clothes on and then you can put it inside your house or outside your house if you want to. That's the one we have in my house. Um, but we mostly leave it in the house because when we go out and then we don't know if it's raining or not and we're, no one's at home to bring the rack inside the house and then it end up getting wet. So we don't let the hassle hassle of that so we prefer leave it inside and then leave it for it to dry the whole day and then stuff like that. But I didn't know what. I did know about the animal and stuff like that but I didn't think it was like rabbit walking around freely that would be cool because i hardly see any place in the in london that you see a rabbit just walking freely most of them will be pet in someone else's house but not like freely walking no i never seen that and air conditioner i think the british people should adapt that but the thing is we don't really necessarily need it because we don't get that much heat or like weather hot summer here we rarely get and when we do sometimes there's no wind underneath it that's the annoying part when there's no wind underneath it oh it's annoying anyway i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you guys have other song i mean other video you want me to look about america leave that in the comment and if you have other comments you want to put as well leave it in the comment i'll read it and then i will try to answer those comment because sometimes when you guys answer when you guys comment it and then it's so long for me to read and then it's so long for me to understand like my brain cell is not like on that on your level let's just say my brain cell is down here don't go over there because it's too long for me anyway <laughs> 
anyway i hope you guys enjoy it and i will try my best to answer if you comment but i will definitely read it that for sure i will read it and i will see you guys on the next video bye